You were my nanny, and you made me put my hands where they did not need to go. You were my friend, and you forced me up against a tree. You got so angry that you hit me. You talked to me, not with me. You were my brother, and while you ended up in prison, you abused a child. Your hand rested too long on my thigh, and you told me how you could use your tongue. Trapped in a car with you, I fought hard to change the subject and move away. To give you care, you invited me into your home. I expected your respect. Instead, you started telling me how you could be the man that I needed and how I should marry you. I walked out with my $60, payment for the care I provided to you and your wife. Out of sight, I stood by my car. I felt very sick. My nursing colleagues and friends named my experience sexual harassment. They told me I should not go back. Good advice, but they don't know my scars. I chose to come back to see you because while I have had bad experiences of touch, I choose to use my touch to heal both me and you. When I hold your feet, I hold trust. I am kind. I am respectful. I have integrity and honor, and I am safe. No matter your color, your age, your beauty, or your creed, you are not invisible to me. You are a person as I am a person. No matter your hurt, your addiction, or your fantastic thinking, I ask and then I tell you. I am no longer an invisible to you.